in the heart of Roxana, Kentucky, in Letcher County, a battle brews over the proposed construction of a $500 million, 1,400-bed prison on a former surface mine, serving as the battleground for opposing visions of economic development in the region. As local officials grasp for economic lifelines, the specter of unemployment looms large, which has been exasperated by the recent devastation of the 2022 flood. Desperation hangs heavy in the air, symbols of both hope and uncertainty and a community yearning for stability. Mitch Whitaker, who is a fourth generation landowner, stands at the forefront of this resistance. He recalls the past struggle against a similar project, USP Letcher, the most expansive federal prison ever proposed. That battle, fought from 2015 to 2019, thwarted the project, preserving the health of prisoners, the surrounding community, and the local environment. Yet, the Bureau of Prisons has filed a new notice of intent for a new federal prison in Letcher County. For Mr. Whitaker and others like him, the fight is personal. The proposed prison threatens to eclipse the night sky he cherishes, a stark reminder of what's at stake. Constructing a new facility will not only contribute to emissions, but also perpetuate an outdated model of incarceration. Statistics paint a grim picture. Kentucky, like other American states, has a higher incarceration rate per 100,000 people than any other country, according to the data from the Prison Policy Initiative. Yet harsh punishments disproportionately target people of color and those of lower socioeconomic status, perpetuating the myth that these groups are inherently more prone to crime. Within this landscape of injustice, Appalachia emerges as a hotspot for prison construction fueled by a confluence of economic, spatial, and cultural factors, the decline of coal mining created an economic void in the region, craving stable jobs with benefits. Prisons, funded by the government and lauded for their social utility, presented an alluring solution. Moreover, the scars of mountaintop removal mining provided ready-made sites for construction, despite concerns about ecological well-being and safety. But beneath the surface lies a troubling reality. Prisons, while promising employment opportunities, often exasperate economic disparities and perpetuate poverty. Studies reveal that while prisons may temporarily alleviate unemployment, they ultimately lead to decrease in per capita income and an increase in poverty levels. Prison employees tasked with overseeing individuals in custody, grapple with heightened levels of physical and mental illness, leading to elevated rates of chronic illnesses, PTSD, addiction, and suicide. The strain on families with multiple members employed in prisons amplifies these tensions, underscoring the interconnectedness of systemic injustice. Communities like Letcher County stand as testaments to the power of grassroots resistance, challenging the narrative that prisons are synonymous with progress. Instead, they advocate for a future rooted in the region's environmental and cultural wealth, a future where economic prosperity is not built on the backs of incarcerated individuals and marginalized communities. As Appalachia navigates its path forward, it's imperative to recognize the true progress lies not in the expansion of the carceral state, but in the cultivation of its inherent strengths, 